Hey, it's Liz and Dave. If you missed our last video, we flew from Toronto to Aruba for what would be our first international vacation together. We checked into our hotel and did a lot of sightseeing on foot, including going for a 10k run, checking out different beaches, shopping at the grocery store, and eating at local restaurants. We started out our third day in Aruba with a short run to grab our new wheels a Suzuki Jimny, and we were pleasantly surprised to find out it was lime green. After 38,000 steps yesterday, the car gave our legs a much needed break. We drove across the island, which took about 45 minutes to get to Baby Beach. Driving in Aruba wasn't too bad, but it took some time to get used to all the roundabouts. We didn't see any traffic lights and only came to a few stop signs. We aren't really the type to sit around for long at the beach, so as soon as we got to Baby Beach, we went snorkeling. We heard Baby Beach was a good spot for snorkeling because the water is usually very calm. This was actually my first time snorkeling, so I was really amazed by every fish I saw. It was really like getting to see a whole different world. I thought this cool fish was a swordfish, but I looked it up and I think it might be a needlefish. Apparently, some of them can launch out of the water at 35 miles per hour and stab people accidentally. We also wanted to mention a couple of other cool things we spotted. There were a few of these parrotfish, which were some of the biggest, most colorful fish we saw while snorkeling. We also noticed this eel on the sea floor digging itself back into the sand. We didn't get these on camera unfortunately, so you'll just have to take our word for it. After we finished snorkeling, we packed up to move on to our next stop. We read online about this dog cemetery right near Baby Beach, so as dog lovers, we knew we had to do a stop to pay our respects to the dogs who had lived their lives on this island. The dog cemetery spans across an almost two kilometer long stretch of land. It was started over a hundred years ago by employees of an oil refinery in the area. We definitely wanted to go back home and give our dogs a big hug after this. When we were back on the road, we passed by a bunch of cool kite surfers on the south side of the island here where the waves are huge. Our next stop was lunch at Kamini's Kitchen. This restaurant had a lot of great reviews stating it was a local spot that you wouldn't want to miss. For lunch, we both had the chickpea curry with roti. I can honestly say this was the best curry I've had in my life. Then we headed over to Arikok National Park. This park covers about 20% of Aruba's total land area. We arrived at about 2pm, not realizing that it closes at 4pm, so we were on a bit of a time crunch then to see everything that we wanted to see. When we entered the park, we were greeted by a bunch of wild goats. Goats were first brought to the island during colonial times by the Spanish. We were also greeted by some of the bumpiest roads we've ever driven on. We were glad we rented a Jimny instead of some of the compact cars we were originally looking at. As we drove through the park, we saw even more goats. 
The goat population in the park is around 1400, which was apparently estimated by counting fresh goat pellets. Our first stop in the park was the Quadericari Caves. Caves are obviously known for being underground, but you actually enter this cave by climbing a set of stairs to the base of the cliff. This cave has two dome-shaped chambers that are lit up by sunlight shining through holes in the ceiling. This cave is also a nesting site for bats, which were swooping over our heads as we walked through. Then we stopped at Boca Prince. This spot has strong waves, so swimming is not permitted, but it does have a beautiful view. Our next plan was to drive up to go see the natural pool, but we weren't exactly sure which route we were able to take. We thought we might have been able to find some spot to hike in from, but we must have got turned around at some point because we ended up at the top of a big hill. So we decided to skip seeing the natural pool and go for a hike near the visitor center instead so we'd be able to leave the park when it closed. Um, so we're just starting our hike, we're just doing a little uh, loop trail in the uh, national park, the Ari Kok National Park. Um, we just stopped to look at these cacti because we were just in the visitor center and we learned that these uh, red parts of the cactus um, bloom at night and then they close up during the day. So if we were looking at this at night, I'm thinking it would look like the flowers on the cactus but right now they're closed up because it's still 30 degree daytime so next we're hiking up that big staircase over there's the visitor center that we parked our car at and we walked from um, so we're sort of headed up this trail. <laughs> He's taking a picture of me. Um, and up to sort of the top of this hill, which we're going to do a big uh, mountain walk tomorrow, I think. So this is just sort of an out and back walk that we're going to do just to see what the national park's like. There's a plane uh, taking off up there. Do you think it's the biggest one? Um, I think it's the biggest cactus we've seen so far. I don't know if they come much bigger than that. That's gotta be 30 feet. Like the base of the cactus is a tree trunk. Stand next to it. <laughs> it's insane. It actually is like a tree trunk here. After hiking, we drove back to our resort to get ready for dinner. 
We ate at Ike's Bistro and were seated at a table in the garden. We ordered a plant-based grilled fish fillet dish, which was really unique because we hadn't really had a seafood style plant-based dish before. It was delicious. Also, we were the only people seated in the garden area, so it really felt like a private gourmet dining experience. After dinner, we checked in on some of the lizards that came out at night on the walls of the parking garage at our resort. We seriously never got tired of seeing these little guys. Did you catch that? No, what did you say? It's Lizzie with the lizards. <laughs> Thanks for watching! Watch our next video to see some of the best snorkeling we experienced in Aruba.